Well, if you've been wanting to add a little pet to your family, the Taylor Jones Humane Society has just who you're looking for. Here with us now is Melissa O'Neill and Cecil, who is still a baby, so I'm going to carry him like a baby because that seems to be what he likes right now. Yes, he loves to be carried like a baby. He, we've had him and his brothers and sisters since they were little bitty. He's about four months old now. And if they can zoom in, he has the most beautiful blue-green eyes. They're just stunning. He's really gorgeous. And he's very calm in nature. He, he doesn't... You know, this is his first outing of the, from the Humane Society, and I'm amazed he's really being good. He just loves being held. And so let's talk about where, he, where did he come from? He was just a stray litter that somebody found and brought in, and we've been raising him. And he just his his sister was a tortie; she got adopted, and mm -hmm. we have three more in the litter, and they need to go to a new home. I was telling he's going to sleep and Melissa, of showing his beautiful eyes. I just need to uh, get a baby carrier and stick him right in there, and I think he'd be happy. Yes, I think so. He's he only would. four months old, but he's had his shots and everything. Yeah, he still has to be neutered. He's okay. about big enough now to be neutered, and he has beautiful little white paws. He does. And he How has cute. that medium coat, which is really silky and pretty and nice. I think he's breathing into my microphone, or maybe he's purring if you can hear him. Um, really quickly, you said you have some big news from the Humane Society, too. Yes, um, we are now the owners or the caretakers okay. of the Rainbow Bridge Pet Cemetery off of Pet Haven Road. And we hope this fall to get it all into good shape okay. and um, have a place for people to be able to go and, and put their animals to rest and be able to visit them. And we're going to make it really nice. Well, that's really exciting for you guys. Obviously, taking care of animals that need adoption right now and From those this age yes, to, to the, the afterlife. Yes. So How we're going to cover every aspect of the cat's life. I could just sit here all day. You, my viewers know that. They, I'm a cat lady for sure. Okay, so how much is Cecil here? Our kittens and cats are all $60, and that includes two sets of vaccines. They're rabies, worming, uh, spay and neuter, leukemia tested. Anything they need until they go, we get it done. Okay, so he's ready to go now? He's not neutered yet, but okay. he um, probably if you came down and put a deposit on him, we can get him neutered next week, and he can go home. He's falling asleep. And then he's, obviously he's a dog. dogs, you still got a lot of dogs as well. Yes, um, one of our dogs came back because she didn't get along with a big dog, but a dog that we've had since January got adopted, Aww. so yay! That's my favorite part. If you go to the Taylor Jones Humane Society Facebook page, you always post the, uh, not, not really homecomings, but getting a home, I guess. Getting I a home, and we it. have a wonderful dog that got a home, but it was sad because he's diagnosed with heartworm. Okay. But we are going to cover the cost and get him fixed. The man loves him to death. So I saw that post. We're going to make sure that he gets all healthy. So if anybody wants to donate to help get him healthy, okay. we, you can go on our Facebook page and donate. All right. But Thank you, Melissa, for bringing this baby with us. I'm not putting I know, him down. I, I think this should be her wedding gift yeah, that I promised her. It should her. be. My husband would kill both of us. All right. <laughs> so if you want to adopt Cecil, because I can't, can't come home with another cat or any of the other cute dogs and cats at the Taylor Jones Humane Society, you can find them at 2301 North 3rd Street. Give them a call at 672-7124 or find them online at taylorjoneshumane.com or, of course, search for them on Facebook.